Crook County, Crook County, Crook County, respect earned, not given. Let's get into this video. Go get your merch, Lombard, Illinois, from New York to LA, 25 hours, 39 minutes, speed limit, 175 miles an hour. Let's get into this video. So if you guys didn't see in the thumbnail, this is the Infiniti 2006 G35 X. This is like a partially car review type shit introducing this car to the channel because it's winter time the bikes are put away the truck is put away so i might do like a modification to this car here and there but i'm going to give you guys some revs in this video and i'm going to give you guys a top speed run in this video this is the x model this is the four-door saloon this sedan um they make a coupe version of this car if you guys don't know anything about the infinity but if you guys are 35 fans then i'm sure you guys already know about this car but for the ones that don't know about this car this is a 35 and they make these in a sedan and they make these in a coupe they make these rear wheel drive or they make these all wheel drive mine is all wheel drive and mine is the 06 model it's the last year that they made the g35 and then they made the g37 which is the last this is the last year for uh basically a Japanese domestic market car for Infinity, and then they switched over to like the European style. Um, I had this car for about three years. This will be my fourth year. 2021 will be my fourth year on this car. Uh, this car has been hella reliable. Haven't had to do any maintenance to it besides changing out the rotors, brake pads, and oil changes. Never left me stranded on the road. Hella reliable. And uh, it comes with all the features that you would want in like a 2013, 2015 car. So uh, it's up to date still to this day, which is really good. Um, I got a Flowmaster Super 44 a Muffy on the back here, right there. It's a little rusted because you know Midwest. And then I put um, two and a half inch piping from the cat back. Um, they normally come with two and a half, but they in some sections it has two and a quarter which is really annoying. And then I got these um, tips that look like factory tips, but they're aftermarket tips. They're a little bit bigger, a little bit beefier than the, uh, than the uh, factory ones. And then these cars, if you can find this car in Crook County, by the way, uh, Lombard, Illinois, go check them out. Um, if you guys can find a Infiniti G35 in manual, I suggest you grab it. Um, they're pretty rare to come by, especially in the sedans. They're pretty rare to come by. Um, but this is a five-speed Tiptronic. There is some goodies underneath the hood. I'll pop the hood, but first, I'll give you guys some revs of this car. It is uh, 30 degrees out, so I'll give you guys some revs. This car produces 280 horsepower, which back in 2006, that was V8 power and 270 foot-pounds of torque. On camera, this might sound really raspy, but the Flowmaster gives it a really, really deep tone. It's really deep, and it still has that VQ distinctive sound to it. But I'll let you guys hear it, take a look. doesn't sound too bad it sounds really good in person uh, it can be really quiet if you're just cruising and then it could be like super loud once you drop it into tiptronic mode and you just want to race everybody but uh let's pop the hood and i'll show you what i got underneath the hood now this is a 3.5 liter v6 uh dual overhead cam um variable valve timing if I can get this hood open there we go so this is what I got underneath the hood uh, we have this 
HPS intake tube. We got throttle by spacer and then we got the K&N drop in uh, air filter. And I also put in, um, is it NGK iridium spark plugs? Uh, I think that's about it. And then we got the muffler and I believe that's all I have done to her. Um, I can't remember what else I have done to her. I have one other thing done. I just can't remember what it is. Uh, that's about, but yeah, but that's about it. This is the engine bay, 3.5 liter V6. Um, you know, I don't want to do too much to her because uh, I just want it to be like a reliable daily. I wasn't intending on tricking it out. That's why the the like the uh, the aesthetics are like all factory on this car. Besides the performance parts, I just wanted a little bit more oomph. And actually, that came apart. I didn't even notice. Um, but yeah. That's what she's got under the hood. Honestly, this tube, that tube with that air intake made the biggest difference, not gonna lie. That made like the biggest difference. Well, you get those GTR tail lights in the rear. It's pretty cool. And then it comes with some other like cool features and quirks on this car. Um, zero to 60 times on this car are like six seconds maybe high five seconds um that all wheel drive launches you get a nice clock up here uh you get of course you get heated seats you get heated mirrors you get like dual climate control all the goodies that you want uh you get the buttons on the steering wheel blah blah blah, blah and all that stuff but yeah and then um we'll do a top speed run and then thanks for watching guys i know it's been a minute hope you guys all had a good christmas appreciate all the subscribers appreciate all the views if i missed anything i know i didn't give all the information so if you guys are G35s and you know more about the G35, comment down below whatever I missed or whatever info I got wrong so we can help each other out. If you there, we'll do a little we'll do a little launch right here. All right, here we go. I had to adjust my steering wheel super weird. I'm driving like a truck driver just to get this shot. But um all right, we got a car behind. So y'all better like this thumbs up, but here we go. This is the top speed run, so any guesses? It's gonna be a top speed run, so if you know what the top speed is, or you wanna guess what the top speed is, comment down below. This is a 2006 G35X. Got a governor at 135. So I just wanted to note that the 35X has a governor on it, but if you get the coupe, it does not have a governor on it. So you can take it up to 155. I believe that's where it cuts off, cuts you off at. But the X model, the sedan, has a governor on it, and you can only do 135. I'm pretty sure you can get that governor removed if you have a rev up tune. I believe that's what it's called, a rev up tune. I don't know. I haven't I haven't really looked into tunes that much. But if you get a rev up tune, I'm pretty sure you can delete the governor and then you can make your sedan go 130 or 155.